The Khajiit is here. The Khajiit is here. Let's get something done. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? K Pop Khajiit. Back with another build video for y'all. This week we're doing a PVE. Uh, we're back on our Stampler. And this is our crit kitty. So we focus on critical damage with Khajiit, obviously. Everyone's a Khajiit at the moment. Khajiit OP. Just gonna ride out to this boss. Alright, let's get started. Um, I'll get rid of the boring stuff first. I usually use Dubious Camry and Throne because of the extra stamina recovery. Uh, I'm pretty bad at my rotation. I over jab, so the extra stamina recovery is good for me. If I'm doing like vet dungeons or some harder content, I'll use the gold food. Uh, potions usually just live off the crown tripods. We're all trash pots if I'm doing easier, trashy content. And weapon crit. I cr I've created them, I'll never actually use them. But um, if we really want to go OP, maybe down in the sewers or in PvP or something. Uh, 64 points into stamina. We are using the critical damage shadow boon. Also gives us our critical healing. So it's, that was the win-win. So we really needed the healing as well. The max health, 22k. Max stamina, just on 30k there. Stamina recovery is at 1.5, which is nice. Weapon damage sitting at 4.3 and 40% weapon crit. Wait. Let's do that again. So stamina recovery goes up to 1.6 or 1.7. Weapon damage 6 at 4.6 and our weapon critical is 37. What do we have more critical? Anyway, alright, let's not get into that. Back to the front bar. Our physical pen is only 700. Our resistances are all pretty much paper thin. But it's alright, we're a DPS. Let's uh, buff up. I believe that's the only buff. So with our Major Brutality, we jump up to 5.4 weapon damage, which is a really nice base for that weapon crit to crit off, which is currently sitting at 37%. Now, we can't be crit kitty. We've got some critical sets. So we are running Battle Axe of Advancing Yukita. 5 out of 5 pieces. Gives us our weapon crit, weapon damage, weapon crit again. And when you deal melee damage, this count your two-hander weapons count and your jabs also count. Your weapon crit is increased by 233 for 5 seconds, second up to 10 times. So it's 2300 weapon crit. You can build up off that. Uh, it only lasts for 5 seconds, but it refreshes with every hit. So it builds up really nicely, really fast. On our back bar, we've got the Master's Bow, which will increase our damage by 330 against targets infected by our Poison Arrow. You can, of course, run the... Is this the Dragon Star one? Both the Dragon Star one and the Maelstorm Bow are both awesome bows. Use whichever one you want, personal preference. If you're on the AoE damage or more of the single target damage. We are currently at the moment running Stormfist as our monster helm. This does give us one line of stamina recovery, which is which is nice. And when we deal damage, we have a 10% chance to do the proc, which after 4 seconds will close with the final fist doing 14k damage. Now the reason I stuck with this and why I like it is because the advancing Yukita, we build that up. So when our Stormfist procs, We've got another extra 4 seconds to keep building our crit chance so that when this procs it has more of a chance of actually critting when it procs. However, in the future, see it's still MP and I haven't changed it because we're going to swap it out. Once we get our hands on some mystics, we will more than likely swap this out for a one piece monster helm that gives us some penetration because our build is missing penetration at the moment. And then one mystic, whether it's the 
you can't block, but we give you all this armor mystic or the brutality mystic, 60% extra damage. Whichever one, and we'll juggle a few things around to make that fit. Now, advancing Yakuda is heavy, and we're currently we've got the weapon and the jewelry all infused. All we oh, sorry, one bloodthirsty, the other two infused, all weapon damage. So, if we have to, and we've got to bring one of those pieces up, we'll get a heavy chest or heavy pants of advancing Yakuda and have one piece heavy on if we use the ring of brutality. The other set we are using is Leviation, which this is from Crypto Parts, so it's not too bad to farm. Um, Max Stamina, Weapon Crit, Weapon Crit, and massive lots of Weapon Crit. And that's our build, so you can see how the two sets fit together there. This one builds up your chances of getting critical hits, this one builds up the power of your critical hits. And like I said, the Monster Helm, we will swap that out later. Now seeing those guys just killed the boss, let's go through and have a look at the sets. So Crypto Parts is where the alleviation comes from. Nice easy dungeon farm. But the other one, Advancing Yukita, comes from Haura. And for some reason it's called Berserking Warrior up the top there. And yet it's called Advancing Yukita, and then Berserking Warrior again, it's, it's got two names, it is the set so nice they had to name it twice. Uh, two daggers would have been nice for this build to run, if you wanted to go dual world, but we just went with the two handed axe. Um, yeah, I really like it. And in a minute, when this thing respawns, we'll show you a bit. Uh, let's go over the skills, what are we running and why are we running them? So, on our back bar, we have our poison inject, that's because that's the bow we're running, this is going to increase our damage by 300 points, plus it's a nice poison dot, and it interrupts, so poison inject, or venom arrow, whichever one you go with, very OP. Power of the light, again, works really well with this build, because we put the beam on him, and then we have 6 seconds to increase our chance of getting a critical hit. So that increases the chance of that 18k explosion being a crit explosion if you get it that high. Also reduces the resistances. Very nice. Uh, arrow barrage. Uh, just for a bit of AOE damage. Extended ritual. This one will cleanse us. It's our cleanse. But it also heals. It heals our allies too, but screw them. It heals us for 2.5 health every 2 seconds. That's That's awesome. That's awesome healing. We can almost get away with just using this as our heal. And it lasts for a long time, 24 seconds. So you can just stay in the circle and you're going to keep getting those little heals to recover from those little scratches and bumps you get. And Vigor, of course, our main heal, our big heal. Uh, Solar Prison for our ultimate. Um... Yeah, 40k damage. If you've got an ally, they can trigger it for another like almost 20k damage. Such a good skill. So devastating. Nice AoE. Big AoE. Ultimate damage skill. On the other bar again, we've got our werewolf. You can go werewolf. This everything in this build works as a werewolf when you're werewolf. Uh, werewolf is just OP. I'm loving werewolf at the moment. And of course, while it's slotted, you get that extra 15% stamina recovery, which is what we really want. Uh, rally again, another heal, so it's three heals. We've got a heal here, a heal here, and a heal here. And this one also is our source of major brutality. Um, can't go wrong with that. Uh, stampede, of course. Uh, crit, crit build, this attack is guaranteed to be a crit hit. So, why would you not use this one? And we got the one that leaves the AOE on the ground as well, because that's, that's another 10k damage over 10 seconds. More than that, it's like 17. So, yeah, awesome. Reverse slice, obvious reasons. To kill things, in case it wasn't clear. Uh, trap Beast. Now, when this is triggered, it will increase our critical damage by 10%, so that's why we use that one. 
And of course jabs our bread and butter. And also activating this ability gives us major severity, increasing our weapon crit by another 2.6. So it's all good. And jabs slows them down, jabs jabs does everything, jabs OP. So we've got chill out, we're gonna wait for this boss to respawn. Oh Mr. Hardhead over here. There he is. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do, put our what is going on? Why is he? Ha! Alright. We're gonna do this gangster style sideways. Oh, he's starting it. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is put our arrow rain down because that takes a few seconds. And then hit him with the poison inject because that's gonna buff our damage. And then put our beam of light on him. And just start jamming away. Put some heavy light attacks in there to keep your stamina up. Ooh. Put our trap beast down. I'm gonna redo our rally there to get our heal. Oh, he's focusing me. Alright. Let's block this next one. Put our heal down, our vigor. Put our inject back on, our beam, and our. There's just too many people here. Too many people. Alright, let's get our goodies. Looks like they're running to the next boss, are they? No. Let's go try our luck down here, see if we can show off the build a bit more at this other boss. So you sort of got the a general idea there. A little example of the build. I didn't I didn't know that boss was gonna get zerged like that. So we'll go try this boss. If this works out, awesome. If it doesn't, we'll come back later. Alright, so Mr. Abomination is up. So we're going to start with our rally. We're going to go to our arrow rain. Poison inject. Power of the light. Didn't proc for me. And then we're just going to start building up those critical chances there rally didn't go off for me oh my is it gonna go okay back to it everything seems to be working all right now we've got a rally off in there just jabbing getting those critical chances out we're gonna switch back put all these buffs back on again rally again didn't go off no, oh, power of the light, sorry. There we go, that time we got a power of the light off. Stepped on our beast trap there so we get even more. And you can just see all the critical damage is going out. So I love about this build. Now, mechanical accuracy is a craftable set as well, which is probably the highest competition for this. I just like the advancing Yakuda. I'm not, you see all those crits here, these crits. I just think it works a lot better than thing. Let's go werewolf. And you see it still works. As our werewolf. Getting crit, 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 crit. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Where's our roll? There it is, 33k roll. Down he goes. Okay, so we've got to do the fully buffed. I don't think that was not going to show up in the stats because it only counts towards the enemy you put it on. Look, when you're at 10 stats, you see the little sword at the end there? Oh, it jumped into the middle for some reason. So we're at 10 stacks, and you can see we keep refreshing it every time we hit him. So let's uh, put our jabs on, our rally on, got our 10 stacks. So fully buffed, our weapon crit goes up to 60%, our weapon damage 5.4. Okay. GG boys.